at a big picture level, yes, we strongly press for, uh, for uh, negotiations and discussions. Uh, my Prime Minister has had a recent conversation not just with President Zelensky, also with President Putin. Uh, this is not the first conversation he has had. They have been uh, uh, talking from time to time. I myself uh, have spoken again to uh, Foreign Minister. Is India at the verge of solving the Russia-Ukraine deadlock? If we understand the optics well, first steps have already been taken. We will tell you all about it, but before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate funded free news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was the first world leader to congratulate President Vladimir Putin on his re-election, underscoring a commitment to deepen India-Russia ties. In the dialogue, Modi emphasized the importance of dialogue and peace for resolving the Russia-Ukraine conflict, as detailed in a statement by India's foreign ministry. Subsequently, on March 20th, Modi engaged in a telephonic conversation with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Through social media platform X, Modi conveyed India's unwavering support for peace initiatives and the provision of humanitarian aid aimed at mitigating the ongoing conflict. During his discussions on the Russia-Ukraine situation, Modi has consistently advocated for a resolution through dialogues and diplomacy, asserting India's dedication to a peaceful settlement of disputes. The stance was further illustrated by the Indian External Affairs Ministry's engagement with its Ukrainian counterpart, culminating in the arrival of Ukraine's Foreign Minister to New Delhi on March 28th. This visit aims to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation, reflecting India's nuanced foreign policy that maintains its historical alliance with Russia while supporting peace and dialogue in current global conflicts. Dmitry Kuleba, Ukraine's foreign minister, is set to meet with his Indian counterpart Subramaniam J. Shankar and the Deputy National Security Advisor on March 29th, as confirmed by India's foreign ministry. Ukraine views India under Prime Minister Modi's leadership as a pivotal mediator capable of bridging the West and Russia regarding the Ukraine conflict. In a recent conversation, Ukrainian President Zelensky encouraged India's participation in a peace summit proposed by Switzerland, highlighting the importance of a dialogue. Zelensky also expressed Ukraine's interest in bolstering trade and economic relations with India, focusing on sectors such as agriculture, aviation, pharmaceuticals and industrial goods, reflecting a strategic approach to deepen bilateral ties amidst global challenges. In response to recent global events, India has maintained a nuanced stance opting not to vote against Moscow at the United Nations and increasing its acquisition of Russian oil at reduced rates post-Russian special operations. Concurrently, India has enhanced its diplomatic and strategic engagements with Western entities, including the United States and the European Union. This multifaceted approach is underscored by India's significant roles in both the BRICS alliance alongside Russia, China and Brazil, and the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, or the Quad, with the US, Australia and Japan, demonstrating its unique positioning on the global stage. At a critical juncture in global diplomacy, India emerges as a unique mediator in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, holding the distinctive position of being acceptable to Russia while also being a negotiation partner the United States is willing to engage with. As a pivotal trade and defense ally of Russia and a preferred partner of the US, India's influence and soft power are at an unprecedented peak. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's exceptional popularity and leadership, marked by securing approximately 70% of the vote in a nation of 1.4 billion people twice, underline his significant global stature and the country's diplomatic leverage. India's strategy aims to moderate Ukraine's stance, potentially steering it away from the West more combative demands towards a compromise reflective of a substantial portion of Russia's expectations. Should India succeed in navigating these complex negotiations to a favorable outcome, it would not only signify a monumental diplomatic triumph in the 21st century, but also cement India's role as a preeminent force for peace and stability on the world stage. While India tries to solve the Ukraine mess, it has not forgotten the responsibility of coolly de-dollarizing the world along with old pal Russia. Here is what Putin and Modi are up to.